Hey guys, it's Thomas from Sephora in Odense. I'm here for you today to make a little bit of a pride inspired looks. We're gonna use a lot of color and actually some pretty simple techniques. So hope you'll tag along. So I already made my base and put on some brows and just made everything ready. I primed my eyes with the Anastasia Eye Lip Primer. Um, super easy, very blendable and has just, just nice color so everything looks good on top. I'm going to be using the ABH Novena Volume 2 palette. It um, has a lot of great colors. Um, again, very, very nice for the pride. So, let me start off. So, just going to grab my little fancy mirror and then we're going to start off. I'm going to start by using the shade D4, which is a very nice yellow. I'm just going to pop it in the inner corner. And then just start blending it out. This is gonna create this kind of like inner eye illusion. And just frame the inner eye. Mind that I'm tapping very lightly into the pan. And then just slightly dipping it on. And then just like this, so we have a very nice shape, and then onto the other eye. Perfect. Now that we have the yellow shade in both eyes, we're gonna dab into shade D2, which is this very nice orangey shade. I'm going in again with a more fluffy brush, and this I'm gonna start on the outer corner of the eye, and peg it on. I'm creating this outgoing shape. Again, it's pride, so we want something big and something that gives an impact. So, still working with the shade. I'm creating this almost winged effect. And actually dragging it quite far up. Like that, so it gives a lot of shape to the eye. Now take it and then just close to the lash line and to make sure it comes all the way to the outer corner here. And of course, blend the edges. And there we go, a very nice pop of orange. So, like the yellow, we're gonna do it with the other side. <clears throat> Perfect. Now that we got the orange on, we're already ready for our third color. This is gonna be A1, which is actually kind of, I would say crystal pink. It has this very nice sheen to it, and it's not like, I would say a total shimmer, uh, but it's definitely not matte. And we're gonna go back to the inner corner. So we're gonna make the form of the eye by going a bit of back and forwards. So, another smaller fluffy brush, and then start all the way down, almost at the inner corner. I'm just gonna tap now very lightly. Again, we wanna blend it very well together with the yellow, so again, a little bit of product at the time. And like this, when you cover the first part of your inner corner eyelid, you're just gonna take a bit more and blend it over to the orange color. So they get blended seamlessly together. And then just a little bit more up. So that you make sure you can see this kind of very nice pinkish shade when you also have open eyes and not only when they're closed. So we have something like this. So 
Again, we need to leave a gap in the middle of the eye because that is going to be our final color there. So yeah, perfect. And now, on to the other eye. Like this. And of course, have in mind when we use this kind of more patch kind of method or technique if you want to say, um, it doesn't have to be completely exact because again, we are slowly blending everything together while we're applying more color. So of course, yeah. Now on to our fourth color. And actually we're getting to the finish. So it's actually not something that takes that long while you, when you just got the hang of where to put the colors. So we're gonna start with the color A3, which is this very lime, kind of shimmery color. I'm actually just gonna fill out the last space. And again, because it has kind of this shimmer to it, it's also very nice to help kind of lift the brow bone and give that kind of highlight effect. And just to deepen it a bit so it doesn't be that much light color in the middle, I'm gonna take E1, which also has this kind of satin finish, lighter green, and I'm just gonna blend that together. And again, make sure to go all the way down there so we fill out the complete gap. And like that, so we have that. Of course, and then onto the other eye. Now we actually just need the under eye and the inner corner, and then we're actually almost done. So for the inner corner, which is what I'm gonna start with, we're gonna use the pink again. So we're gonna go back in the shade A1, and then we're just gonna make this kind of, I would say winged effect effect in the inner corner um, to just give it a bit more definition um, and kind of use that instead of a inner corner highlight. Perfect. And now to our final, final step in the shadow department. We're just gonna define our under eye a bit more, just to give this kind of big top a big bottom as well. So, I'm gonna use A2, which is this very, I would say borderline yellow-green, um, but then just to mix it up a bit, uh, and to make sure that you can kind of see it. And here you go. Actually, the final eyeshadow part of it. Um, it's very pastel and very summer trendy, um, but I feel like it's a lot of fun and yeah, just gives you a lot of pride with vibes. Yeah, let me just put on some lashes and mascara and then we're gonna do the lips and then we are all done. Well, perfect. Now I put on some lashes. I used the Tartist um, lashes in Gardas. And then I put on some mascara, the Tarte Lashes 4 in 1 um, Camera Ready Lights. Perfect. So now that we have done that, we only need the lips as the final step. And here I'm going to use actually one of my favorite products, um, which is the Sephora Lip Stain Liner in O2 Classic Beige, which is this amazing nude and I feel like it goes with kind of everything you wear so and now that I have lined my lips I'm going to go in with the um, Sephora lip stain matte in the color 66 uh, very light kind of nude again very good with everything and especially something colorful we just want that to really pop I would say this lip combo goes so well together. It creates this kind of natural ombre effect and it's just very easy and nice. Well, that concludes everything for today. And um, this is my final bright look. Hope you like it and hope some of you will recreate it and maybe come up with your own version. 
I mean, the method of kind of just patching the color on um, can actually be used with a lot of different colors. So, hope to see you guys and happy pride!